This is Blackview Tab 12 and today I would like to demonstrate that you can bypass parental controls on this device. So to begin, as you can see, I do have my parental controls enabled, so in order to turn them off without any parental authorization or authentication, you will need to launch settings, then enter the Google category, at the Google page, tap at the manage your Google account button. Next, once the Google account management center gets loaded, you will need to go for the data and privacy section, and at the data and privacy page, go for the delete your Google account option. Now, in order to continue, we will need to input the account password. So let me quickly do that. After that, you will be forwarded to the delete your Google account page. In here, check those two boxes at the bottom part of the page and tap at the delete account button to your, well, bottom right, more or less. Uh, at this point, the parental controls should have been already deactivated. Uh, if this synchronization works properly, it should have already happened. So let me check that real quick. Mm, ready? So apparently the synchronization on this device does not work as intended. And it might take some time for the system to recognize the changes. But, well, I would assume that's normal thing to happen. Some devices deal with Google Sync better than others. and This one deals not too good, as you can see. Well, anyway, I mean, uh, even though it is not displayed over here, the parental controls were turned off, so you gotta believe me on this one. Uh, and in order to reactivate or the uh, restore or recover the Google account that we have just deleted, you will need to launch the Play Store or any other Google app or service and sign into the said Google account. As you can see, the message identifies that this account was recently deleted and may be recoverable. So hit the next button, then type in or input the account password. Nine out of 10 times you will get the something went wrong message. That's completely fine. So simply re-enter your credentials or rather in my case, I will need to just re-enter the password once again. And then just proceed with the login as you would normally do. So as you can see, the account is restored and you just have to give system some time to acknowledge the changes that we have made regarding the parental controls and uh, those will be removed. So just give it some time, perhaps reload or reboot the tablet and well, the changes will be applied. Alrighty, so that will be it for this video guys. Thanks for watching and bye bye.